because he was like, hey, what's your name? <laughs> but that to me is the power of styling to make someone beautiful. And that's what I fell in love with as a hair, as a hair person. So everyone's story is different, but that's what I think of being a session stylist. My job is to make this person sitting in my chair the most beautiful. How did you actually go about the transition? The transition, I looked on the, at the time Facebook to me was pretty new. And I literally went onto Facebook, tried to find some photographers. Hey, do you want to do a shoot? I'm in your area, let's shoot. So I found a photographer, a makeup artist, and a stylist, the most four people I shot with every single weekend for nearly two years. So I built a book, so we'd grow as a team, and then I went to an agent. A lot of people think they are already good, but an agent the agent's like, no. So the biggest thing is to um, find my shoe, is to find a, a photographer and a makeup artist and people that you have a, a good feeling about, you know? I'm trying to think of what I'm doing. So that's why I can't do too much. But I mean, session styling to me is, is the epitome of, of doing hair. This might not work. Huh. This will be really cool. The, the photographer has a question. Hello. Yeah, hold on. Hello. How do you work with different stylists that uh, have uh, different preferences that they have for photo shoots when we're setting up for shoots? Some of them prefer for the models not to shower the day of the shoot so that the oils in the hair develop, and some don't. So yeah. what's your preference in terms of that oil in the hair? Um, the amount of time I never to be honest, I never have a choice. Um, I've never been on a shoot where I have been able to call, on a, on a big shoot, been able to call a, uh, a a model or anybody up and go, hey babe, do you want to wash your hair for me? You know, because they're on a plane or whatever. So the bigger shoots, this sort of stuff, we can control what the models do. Um, well, to a point. Um, this model I control a little bit. Um, we can control what they do. But on big shoots, you have no say. So on a, on a really big shoot, it's generally the, the magazine editor, the stylist, and what they do is they offer the big photo shoot to a photographer. So if you're the photographer for shooting mode, the editor and the stylist will offer the photo shoot to you and you will pay 10 grand because they've offered you five pages. People forget photographers, they spend 20, 30 grand on some big shoes, it's their, you know, they own everything. And then I rock up and hope that I can have a say. I don't get a say, I don't go, oh, I'm gonna do this here today. They tell me everything that they want, what they want to do. And that's where I find a lot of hairdressers forget. I don't just rock up and do any hair I want and have a big smile on my face. I get told what to do and I need to actually fit what I do into the brief. I think we all identify with that. I would say, like, just think about a wedding party coming in. They come in, you don't have time to shampoo their hair. They're telling you and dictating exactly how they want the hair to look and knowing that they're going to have to be photographed. And a lot of you guys probably do that on location as well. So they're not going to identify with that stuff. I know I can. One of the things like that, that we do now, that we've got the new travel sizes, which are the new uh, 3.4 ounce, is that, and I know like Robert, my hair group over there when he does his shoots, he packages up, you know, a maxi wash, you know, and then they're washing the rinse for that model or for that ride, and then he will then go and give those to them the night before, or several days before when they do like a model or a walkthrough or a rehearsal. And then you can suggest that they go back into the hotel or the resort or home wash their hair and come clean. So we kind of, unlike Carl, we kind of have the luxury of doing that. And that's a super way to use our new sizes, uh, the new travel. Do you guys all have those in now? Most of the places I've been to I know that you do, so that's a, that's a good way to utilize those. Okay, so I would normally take longer and go piece by piece to do that, but I didn't want to bore you. So I would do this all with hair. I've never, don't need to use elastic. You can if you want, don't bother me. Not to bother you neither. Um, so I basically grab that hair, get that through my schneeble. Can you speak German? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> schneeble is a word that you shouldn't use if you're in German. I use it all the time, get trouble. 